Hi there, my name is Carly and this is my channel Soulscape and the leaves around here are starting to fall. The weather is getting crisper and cooler in the morning which means it's time to do some fall sewing. So today I'm going to be sewing from the October issue of Berta Style. I pulled this out and I just noticed my nails match the orange on the cover. So this is the October 2022 issue and I've already sewn a sweater from this issue and it turned out super cute. It was the sweater on the cover here. But today we're going to be doing one of the featured sewing lessons in the magazine. So this is this little mini skirt here. Super cute. Has a little belt. I don't know if I have any like snaps like this, but we'll see. I might. Um, so yeah, we are going to sew this up. I've already started tracing it the other night because I'm just so excited to have a spooky black pleather skirt in my wardrobe. So it's lined, which is amazing. So I can wear this with tights or without tights. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start off by just tracing everything out. And it says interfacing it, but I'm worried about kind of pressing this pleather. I think it's gonna melt. I'm gonna see how it goes. Maybe take a scrap piece and try to press that, see what happens. And yeah, so let's get tracing. All right, so I just traced out all the pattern pieces, but looking at the skirt, it has these like side panels. I don't know if you can see here. So there's kind of like, you know, just like a strip on each side. And I think I'm just gonna use the pattern for the skirt lining, which omits that. Because I'm sewing with like pleather, I don't wanna add too many seams that I have to top stitch or anything. So here's hoping that the lining is drafted as like the skirt plus the side combined together. I would assume that's how it goes. But I'm just gonna trust it, and so I'm gonna cut the lining and the skirt out exactly the same and just kind of get rid of those other pieces. I've transferred the markings that are on the the skirt back official pieces onto the lining pieces that I'm gonna cut out because it has the notches for where the belt comes along. So I'm gonna do that and here's hoping it works out. But sewing is about experimenting and having fun. So here we go. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I ran out of my favorite tracing paper mid-make. So this time I haven't been able to get down to the hair distributor store to buy the esthetician paper that I normally use because it's in the next town over. So um, when in doubt, I like to use the um, parchment paper just from Costco. So sometimes like pant patterns don't fit on this. So the skirt pattern was like almost to the very edges, but it worked out, it worked out perfect. So this is really great slippery paper, very similar to the esthetician paper, just not as wide. So this is a really great thing that almost everyone has in their cupboard right now, baking cookies and stuff like that. So oh, that makes me wanna do some fall baking. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have any like amazing fall recipes that you like to make. Whenever the weather turns cold, I just wanna make soup and bake cookies. <laughs> Anyways, let's cut out this pleather. All right, so I have that all cut out now. This pleather is just like so awesome and buttery. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with it. I think this is gonna be so perfect for Halloween. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna dress up, but I'm gonna, you know, dress dark, dress spooky. And so the lining that I have chosen is just this kind of like polyester. I got this 
just from Fabricland a long time ago and I got a couple meters of it and I feel like I've lined a lot of things with this and it is so cute I love it so this will be my lining and that will be great so now I'm gonna load up my sewing machine with black thread and switch over my serger thread that is white which is honestly the reason I've been like postponing this project is I just do not want to change my serger thread but we persevere we sew we get through it I just did the riskiest thing ever oh my goodness I interfaced this pleather so the back side of it was like this plush kind of like fleecy material and um, I just used this medium weight Pallon fusible interfacing and it stuck I used like the the eco setting and just did it for like a second enough to fuse and it's amazing it didn't stretch it didn't warp the fabric still looks awesome so I wonder if it was like a one-off if I should like press my seams or if I should just top stitch them and call it a day also I just pulled out my bobbin and I'm like it's half full I'm like oh am I gonna run out filling bobbins is my least favorite sewing task but I guess I'm ready to be hurt again all right so I have all my machines loaded up now and I marked the darts on the skirt so I used my red chalk and then it said to put some seam tape up at the top I just used a thin piece of interfacing I got a little nervous with the iron so I hope it stays on so I just put it a little bit in the seam line a little bit out of the seam line so that when the facing or the lining is turned inward it stays really secure so hopefully that's good so I'm gonna get out my little wonder clips and I'm going to clip the darts that way and then on the lining I'll just use regular pins so I just sewed up those darts they're looking cute I'm wondering if I should maybe top stitch them with the pleather but it is a little bit stretchy so I feel like as I wear it they'll kind of like lay down and kind of conform to the body maybe maybe I should have picked a pattern that didn't have any darts to it but that's okay it's gonna be cute anyways so that is all done and I have the lining all done too so now I have the side seams of the skirt all pinned with my little wonder clips. These are so cute. So I'm just going to sew up these side seams and leave the back open. So because I'm sewing with pleather, I don't want to use any pins because you're going to be able to see every little mark that I put in this fabric. So normally when I um, do an invisible zipper, I baste it in. So I'm going to have to watch a couple YouTube videos on how to sew an invisible zipper without basting. So we will be on this journey together. I'm going to sew up these side seams and then we'll construct the belt. So I just sewed the side seams of the belt together and it is looking really good. So I top stitched these seams here. I top stitched the darts on the front too. It doesn't look that great, but it's okay. It's fine. And I am at the point where I am almost out of my bobbin thread. So I should rewind it before I sew the front and back belt pieces together. Or should I risk it? So I just rewound my bobbin and I have the front waistband clipped to the back waistband and I'm just gonna sew all the way around this leaving one end open to or leaving both ends open to turn it out because it's gonna get kind of attached into the back seam so we'll sew the top and the bottom of this so I'll just show you where I'm at now I've sewn on I've sewn the belt pieces together and then I've threaded a little black belt buckle through here and then I've just kind of pinned in a couple places on the seam line so you won't see kind of the pins later when I take this out so I'm just gonna baste these edges in now before we sew up 
I think the back seam is next. The zipper, uh oh. <laughs> All right, so I sewed in the zipper and it was actually really good. The only problem is when I sewed the belt, one side was a little bit bigger than the other, so I made sure I lined up the top point to make sure that they match, but one goes about a quarter inch below the other, but I guess, can I live with it? Let's see. I feel like if anyone's looking that close, then that is their problem. What do you think? <laughs> Let me know, but here's the front. It is looking so cute. I love it. I did a try on. It fits. It fits awesome. I love it. I just have to sew up the part that goes in between this belt here now. But it's almost time to pick up the kids from school, so I think I'm going to have a cup of coffee and just have a little scroll on Instagram, and then I'm going to return to this maybe tonight. Good morning, another few days have come and passed since I talked to you guys last when I was working on my pleather mini skirt. Um, I actually finished it and I wore it and I realized there's just some alterations that I want to make to it to make it even better. So here I was being sneaky finishing this dress off or this skirt off camera. But now I'll take you along the process of how I'm trying to fix this thing because pleather, it's really hard to fix because you see every little mark and it's fully lined. So yeah, it's going to be tough. I added a couple little darts in there. I'll show you kind of what I did. But now the belt is too big. So I'm going to have to remove the zipper a bit of it and then take in the belt. And then I think it'll be good. I'll just show you in the kitchen here. I'm um, just getting back into making some sourdough bread. So I have my KitchenAid going in the background here. Oh yeah. <laughs> and over here I have my little sourdough baby. So I tend to kill them and forget to feed them. So. I've been watching Handmaid's Tale lately, and so I'm naming this one June because she always survives. <laughs> well, since I've seen you guys last, the sewing room is in shambles. I'm actually working on a secondary project right now because I thought I was finished with this, and I thought I would just live with it being a little bit big. But with the belt, I was feeling a little bit like Santa Claus because it wasn't hitting my waist. It was hitting like the fullest part of my stomach. And I think we can all agree that's never a look that we want. So I'll just show you in the back here. I've just added an extra little dart here right beside the other dart. Now that I'm looking at it, I should maybe extend it a little bit further. But when it's on, it doesn't look that crazy. Maybe I'll extend it just a touch. And then it fits great. Now the skirt is fitting right at my waist. So now I just have to unpick the lining and then the zipper and then I'm going to take off exactly how much I took off this little mini dart that I added in here. So if I was to guess I would say it's an inch and a quarter from each side but I'm going to measure and make sure I don't have to do this again or make it too small or something. So I didn't unpick the full lining to fix this because I thought the belt kind of covers it anyways and I wanted this to be a happy project and not something that I was going to put off and not wear because the trend this year is pleather and I want to sew the trends, wear the trends, even though, you know, trends aren't that important, but also it's so cute. And I loved wearing it, but yeah, I just felt a little bit like Santa, like, like I had a big belt across my belly. So yeah, I'm going to extend these darts just by a touch and then remove whatever I took out of that dart from the waistband and then maybe I'll tack it down so it doesn't slide down onto my stomach or anything. But let's get the seam ripper and let's get going. All right, so I cut an inch off of the first side that I did. And so I just have that basted on here just like it used to be. And so I'm gonna take the zipper and just zoop, sew right up there to the end of the zipper teeth. And then I can 
Retop stitched the little bit that I had to unpick of the top stitching. And I think that'll be it. It's been a very frustrating couple minutes. I pulled out the zipper because as I was repairing it, I ripped these teeny tiny holes. Let me see if I can show you here. Yeah. Come on, focus, baby. Some teeny tiny holes in the zipper. And I thought, oh, it'll be fine. There's no threads in the way. It'll just keep zipping up. Oh my goodness. Well, when it's on the skirt, it does not zip up. It decides, nope, that's it. So I have to replace the whole zipper now. So this is going in the trash. And so I have the skirt kind of pulled apart here. This is where the zipper goes. And we're gonna put a new zipper in. I did rip a tiny little hole in the pleather down by the butt here. So I'm just gonna adjust the seam allowance a little bit and move it on over. And yeah, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a little break for us, have some toast, cause I haven't eaten yet today and I'm a little cranky about this, but we persevere. I'm gonna need to do an easy project after this one. <laughs> the zipper is in. I'll show you. It kind of accentuates a little bit more that these are uneven, but there is a little pucker right where the bottom of the zipper is now, but I guess you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I've never wanted to give up on a sewing pattern more than I did with this one, but we persevered. Now I'm just gonna finish top stitching and be ready to wear this lovely fitting garment. Let's see, will that pucker drive me crazy? I think it won't drive me as crazy as the waist not fitting along my natural waist would. So, <sighs> pleather, it has been so difficult to work with. I can't wait to <laughs> sew something like cotton or linen after this. But I'm gonna extend those darts and then I'll do a bit of hand sewing and stitch up that top stitching and we'll be good to go. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. It's done, oh my gosh, I'm so glad. I almost gave up so many times. So now I'm gonna do a little glam, get ready and I'll show you guys how it is looking. I really love it. I'm really glad I took the time to alter it so it's sitting right here at my waist. No more feeling like Santa Claus. The belt is a really cute feature. The only thing is I like to like switch up my belts depending on what I'm wearing with it. So I don't know if I made, I guess I make lots of skirts so it doesn't matter if one has a built-in belt or not. The only thing that does drive me crazy about this skirt is the back of it. So from far away, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of mismatched here at the zipper part because one side of the belt is bigger than the other side of the belt. I guess what can you do? It's about a quarter inch off, so that is a little crazy. And then the additional darts that I had to add into the waist are just a little pointy because you can't really you can't iron them, so I have some kind of points happening on my butt. Here, let me see if I can zoom in and get a closer view here. So here are, I guess, the errors, and then there's the pucker down the middle, but it is fine, it is cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all getting ready for spooky season sewing, and have the best rest of your day, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.